Hello, hello everybody. Welcome on back to more of our Steam Next Fest coverage, an event where I am covering a bunch of new demos that are just coming out specifically for this week. So if you want to play them, go make sure you download them now because sometimes they take them off after the event ends on June 17th. But today we are going to be trying out Metal Slug Tactics. I know a bunch of us have probably played Metal Slug before. It's a game, it's a name that's been around for a long time, but generally it's been kind of like a side-scrolling chaotic shooter, kind of like a Contra type game. And now they're jumping into a new genre called Metal Slug Tactics, where it's a tactical game now. Um, ever since they announced this game, I've been really excited to try it. And when I found out they were doing a demo for Steam Next Fest, I knew it was one of those games I was gonna have to play. So here we are. After escaping justice once again, General Donald Morden has freed his old friends from the rebel army and declared martial law on Syracuse City. Now the... Now the base for his last erratic attempts at conquest. Now the base for his last erratic attempts at conquest. With thousands held hostage by the regime, the world government sends the only team hot-headed and irresponsible enough to, con to match Morden blow for blow. Get ready. Get ready. All right. I am ready. Start. Okay. Player turn. Okay. Uh, finally, Major, there's not a second to lose. Your fellow soldiers need help. Move the move the camera with WASD or by moving the mouse wheel. Uh, okay, right click to close. This is Marco, one of your units. Select him by clicking on him or pressing F1. Okay, these are your actions and moves. Um, each turn, each character has one of each per turn using an action. Yep, like most games. Uh, right click to close. Use this is his movement range. Move Marco here. Okay, let's move Marco. I like the anime or not the animations like the the art and the style of the game. I think it looks pretty cool. Here are Marco's weapons. Select his handgun by clicking on it or by pressing one. Uh, certain elements of the environment are destructible. Click on it to destroy. Sweet. Ari reported a rebel ambush. Haven't heard from her since. Uh, in turn. Enemy turn. OK, what are the enemies going to do? Uh, they did nothing. <laughs> All right, player turn. Select Marco by clicking on him or pressing F1. Move Marco here. We're going to die. Um, Marco cannot take on both dead eyes at once. Undo your move by clicking this button. Uh, there's a crane right here. And I'm and uh, oh, yeah. Oh, and it says use. I'm pretty sure we're going to we could probably drop that on them. Undo. Uh, time is of the essence. Flip the yeah, Flip that switch to unload the crane. Okay, so move Marco next to the switch. Click on elements adjacent to your unit to interact with them. Interacting does not consume an action, but will prevent you from undoing any previous moves. Use this switch, then select the impact zone to make the crane collapse. Okay, so we'll use it. Oh, I wonder if I could move the crane, but I guess I, I don't really know if I can. Um, we'll drop it right there, I guess. Well, it's going to do that whole area. Nice. Uh, click here to end your turn. Some units still have actions and are movement points. Are you sure you want to end your turn? I guess. The game told me to, so. All right, now we got more, more units. Oh, look at that thing. That Cerubia tank is well armed. Shield yourself from its cannon. Select Marco by clicking on him. Okay. Uh, moving over long distance generates resources. Always try to move to the darkest colored tiles in your. Always try to move to the darkest colored tiles in your movement range. So we gain resources. What does that mean? What does it mean we gain resources? It generates resources. Like maybe ammo and stuff. Uh, this is your dodge, our dodge. That looks like our shield. Uh, it reduces all damage sustained by the character and cannot itself be reduced. The further you move from your starting point, the more of this resource you will. Oh, so the more we move, the more damage reduction we get. Interesting. So they really want you to push forward. The further you move from the starting point, the more you'll gain. Here is Marco's special weapon. Each character has one. Special weapons are more powerful than primary weapons, but are limited in max ammo, which can be recharged after some missions. Select it by clicking it or pressing 2. 
Okay. Shoot the grenadier by clicking on him. Ugh. Done. Okay, in turn. Still the fast speed. Uh, get closer to that tank, Major. I think, uh, hold on. S the Cerubia is finally in range. Move Marco over to take cover. Oh, I have to click him first. Okay, so let's move over. This look doesn't look like the smartest move. <laughs> this is your cover. Oh, so there's two different things. There's a dodge and a cover. Um, this is your cover. It is subtracted from all incoming damage, no matter which direction the character is attacked from. Cover is only provided by certain elements in the environment. Highlight it in blue tiles. Okay. Um, so if I stand here, I don't get cover, huh? Just on those sides. Cover is only provided by certain elements. Some weapons and enemies with... Some weapons and enemies with no cover ignore cover. What does that mean? So if I have a weapon that says no cover. Uh, this is your adrenaline. It is... It is generated the same way as dodge. Adrenaline is the resource you need to use special actions. Oh, sweet. We're going to get special powers. Good. I'll confirm the tanks. Oh, I didn't get to read that. Here are Marcos' special actions. Select tactical strike. Deals 10 HP of damage. Okay, and then we're going to do it on him. Uh, destroy the tank with this tactical strike. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> that's cool. I love it. All right, in turn. Is the enemy never going to attack us? I guess they did. You're getting closer to the ambush site. Stay on high alert. Move Marco here to continue. Okay. So are we just leaving? Just see you, nerds. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, what's happening? All oh, those guys just died. <laughs> they just went into the void. <laughs> They're gone forever. All right, P buddies. All right. Um, meet Eerie and Theo. Select Theo. Uh, trigger your first synchronization by attacking this enemy. Oh, I have to select a gun and then attack. Sync. Oh, that's cool. What did that say? All of your characters have the synchronization passive. Sinks are automatic attacks. Deal damage to any mini any deal damage to any enemy in range of another allied character's primary weapon to trigger one. That character will also attack the same enemy with their primary weapon. An attack or special action can only trigger other character sinks once per action. I dare hope the three of you will be enough to take out this squad. Okay, uh, complete the mission. Here are your mission objectives. Finish the mission on your own. You will lose if you can no longer complete the main objective or if all of your characters are KO'd. Okay, so he's my other character, right? Let's, um, is he like a melee? Does this mean I can't attack him? It probably means this. This guy has a weird range. How do, man, how do I know, like, which, what, as I'm moving a character, I wish I could know which areas I can hit him in because I'm going to throw a grenade, right? Well, I guess I could use. No, what is hold on? I'm trying to figure out like my attack here. Nope, nope, nope. Continue. No, I d OK, hold on. I'm trying to trying to figure this out. OK, so let's move him in the cover. And then, OK, so that's only a straight and forward and that's a like a long range thing. Let's just try it. This is just a demo. So, I mean, I'm not going to be too concerned if I use all my. This is even just a tutorial. So, OK, so this is just a straight range weapon, but it's going to deal. It's going to hit everybody in that cone. So let's try that. Oh, so that's what I. Oh, that's what I was looking at. I was looking at their attack ranges. I thought I was looking at my attack range. OK. Um. Can I move anybody else? I can still move him, right? No, he just gets an action. 
I'm uh, not going to be able to attack anybody. Okay. Um, so why didn't I get to move him then? He just has an action. I didn't get to move him. Okay, so I guess we have to in turn. Some units still, yeah. Well, I, there's nothing I can do, though. I can't do any action moves with that guy. Let's lower the speed back down. I, man, okay, I can't. Where, where are we going? All right, let's, um, so this can only shoot. Oh, it shoots one square, but it has a decent range. I keep clicking escape and then it. All right, let's move you right here then. Okay, that thing needs, nope, move you there. And let's attack you. Oh, I can't, why can't I attack you? I was trying to figure out what, what does this do? Applies the next, oh, the next, the unit's next attack using the weapon has, oh, so that's like a, a power up. Okay, so we did our action. We're not doing very good at this. So range, so I should be able to attack him then. Okay, and this is gonna do a sync attack, so let's do that. And then he'll attack. He's dead. Okay, and then you can move, but we're not gonna move you, so let's just click on her. And then what can you do? You can attack this guy, or you have a machine gun. Let's just do a normal attack on you. And then he can move, but we're not gonna move him, so we'll just in turn. Oh, I guess we kind of want to move, though, right? Because we want to gain those resources. I kind of forgot about that. So the game does want us to move. It doesn't want us to just, like, sit here. See, so we're going to get plus four adrenaline and plus two... Yeah, plus two dodge. Okay, so we definitely want to keep moving, then. Wait, why am I stacking them? See what it's doing? Why is it doing that? I just want to attack you. Hold on, what's happening? Okay, you. Grenade juggler. Throws two explosives. Deals four damage. Oh, I get to pick two targets? Oh, was that his special? I'm so confused what changed there. Oh, that was okay. Sorry, I. <laughs> oh man, this is the problem with learning a game. Okay, so that was a special ability. I, I saw that and I was like, okay, I was so confused because this is my normal attack. That's my special ability. Okay. Uh, so let's move her over here to cover, and then let's see what does this do. Moves the targeted unit one to three tiles from its position. Oh, I can't attack you. We can attack you though. Okay, and then, let's see, you can move, you can move right here, I guess. No, I, ca I can't move right there, bummer. Okay, we'll just move right here. And then, let's see. So that's, yeah, that's what, that's what I was confused about. Okay, so we can't do any attacks, huh? So I wish it was a little bit more clear about, like, what your weapons can attack. Because it just says, it just shows a dot. This weapons area effect in which damage are applied, but you know it doesn't say like, like the rain, like the, I guess the, the area directional that you can shoot. Like just being able to shoot straight is kind of a, so this guy needs to be in a straight line. All right, so we can't do an action. Although I guess we could do this. No, what does this do? Tactical airstrike. See, like I can't do, can't do that either. I wonder why, like, the line of sight is like this. It's only directional. Okay, let's in turn. Okay, so we'll move you up here. Then we'll just do our attack, and that should kill him. Wait, why did... Victory! Oh, wait, why did she die? <laughs> 
<laughs> Why did she die? <laughs> Why did she die? Select three characters, right click to close. Um, hold on, what is happening? Like, was that the end of... <laughs> I have no idea what happened there. Does, does his gun... Hold on, does this gun do like an explosive or something? Alright, let's keep going a little bit. Let's do like... Let's do like the first mission, I guess, here. Okay, welcome to the army. Default difficulty, basic rewards. Um, yeah, we're just gonna do this on recruit. Uh, oh, this is the default difficulty anyways. Um, hold on, I kind of want to see what... Is there nothing else in here that we can click on? I guess not. Let's just select our army. All right, let's um, let's go. Okay, I kind of have a gist for the game now. So let's, go. let's try to do this mission without um, doing it much better than we did that tutorial. Okay, so there's different regions. Um, so we only have the first re region in this demo. Uh, let's go. The game definitely still keeps that metal slug charm, though, which is nice. Okay, transmission from Ignore. Just kidding. Lovely to see you as always, Major. Though ideally, we wouldn't have to meet quite so often. It's been a long trip, Commander. Why am I here? Not in a chatty mood today, Rossi? Anyway, here's your mission briefing. Modern... Morden escaped captivity following the incident on Garbage Island. Why does that not surprise me? No interruptions, please. Since escaping, he's been freeing his old friends, most of whom were waiting for their day in court. Little by little, he scrapped together enough forces to build a base here in Sirico City. Over the objections of the locals, of course. And it goes without, without saying that an open conflict in an urban area would have devastating consequences and prove fatal for said locals. That's why we've chosen to send a small team to infiltrate the city and take out Morden. Now I understand why you were getting the sparrows together. Not so fast, Rossi. The path to Morden is guarded by three massive war machines. It seems they're playing coy with us, keeping out of sight. But all is not lost. The rebels have seized territories in the Argun Palm Desert, the Hurkinet Tombs, and the Sour Sop Jungle. If we liberate these areas, the war machines will be forced to abandon their posi positions and intervene. And Morden, are you sure we'll be able to capture him this time? Morden relies on his low-life friends. We should keep an eye out for any chance to break those alliances up. In the meantime, the ball is in your court. Make your way through the battlefield and head to Morden's base in Sirico City. Yes, ma'am. Peregrine Falcons, head out. Okay. Oh, so we get to pick a... Oh. So how does this work? We get to pick a couple different ways to go? Interesting. Um, is this the end then? I'm trying to figure out like where the where the end boss is. Um, so this is gold ammo. Let's go up this way. Okay, so this one is destroy the convoy before it reaches the last exit. Secondary objective take less than zero HP of damage with Fio. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, enemy response in four missions. So, wonder what that means. Um, okay, I want to see like what the other missions are. Kill all targets. Um, kill all targets. Okay, let's try this escort one. Destroy the con or destroy the convoy. They are trying to escort something. In. It's an anti-escort. Uh, okay. Let's try this. Get oh my ready. goodness, that's a lot. Okay, where are we at? Oh my gosh, are we gonna start right here? <laughs> what? There's... Are, this is really my starting location? Hold on, how do... Oh no, start up here. This is my starting location. That's the finish. Okay. Um, Let's see, destroy convoy before time runs out. If it manages to escape, you will lose. Okay, where's so I have to put them over here. So let's put you up here. Um, you can go up there and then 
So we don't want Theo to lose HP for a sec. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna worry too much about my um, secondary objective because I'm probably not gonna be able to do it. Okay, so we have to try to destroy this before it reaches here, and this is our start locations. Okay. Mission start. Wonder how many hits it's gonna take. So let's see the kind of what things we have. Um, if attacked, the snake will wake up for one turn. So we have these snake things that we can use. Um, other than that, there's no real other objectives on here or things that we can do. Okay, so let's just straight up move you. Wait, certain missions have different elevation levels. Most weapons cannot target units on other eleva elevation levels. Characters can only climb up or down one elevation level at a time. Use elevation wisely to protect yourself and block your opponents. Okay, so let's move here, because I'm not going to be able to attack him otherwise. Okay, hold on. Can we move and move? So, like, can I move him? See, I'm always so confused about what their attack ranges are. Okay, so let's see. So I'm going to move. I want to attack this guy. But I also don't want to hit myself. <laughs> um, so how are we going to do this? I don't think there's really any place I can move him. Because if I move here, then I'm going to attack myself. But I also want to do like what I was trying to do was trigger the sink attack. So I wanted to move. You know, I wanted to be able to move him somewhere where it could... So that's why I wanted to move the two characters first before I attacked anything. Um, let's undo move. So... Unfortunately, I can't... So if I move him down here, though, I'm not going to be able to attack. And I'm not going to get, like, a sink attack. Um, so let's see. So I think... I don't know if I can do this with attacking him. I wish I could have... I wish I could redo these characters. I would put him down there instead. Okay. So let's um move you. We'll just move you right there. And then we'll move. No, no, no. Hold on. Undo move. We'll move you here. And then let's attack our no. So if I yeah, man, there's just no way to do this. I don't think there's any way to do this. Wait, there is a way. Okay, hold on. Undo move. So we move you. No, I can't. Come on. Hold on. I can't move you. Okay, you go here. You go here. Okay, now you attack here. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Okay, and so now you're going to get the sink attack. Okay, but now you do your attack and then kill him. There we go. That <laughs> problem solved. First, our first successful <laughs> kill outside of the demo. Okay, so let's, um, or outside of the, okay, so what kind of range do you have? Six range and you just have a handgun. Um, let's kind of go like all out here on this, right? A lot of HP. So it's going to do six damage. What's this going to do? It's three damage. Okay, and, then, and that's it in turn. Man, are we really supposed to stop that before it gets there? This feels impossible. Man, these guys are going to keep attacking us, huh? Hit in one turn. Oh, that guy's going to die. Okay, so... Man, this is interesting. Am I just supposed to, like, ignore killing these guys then? 
So let's see what this was supposed to do. While awake, the snake will strike any enemy encountering or starting their turn on a tile. Inflicts three HP and interrupts movement. I wonder if we were supposed to do that. I didn't I didn't notice the interrupt uh interrupt movement thing. Man, I don't know if I like this level stuff either. Alright, so we gotta move you down then. This is kind of weird. All right, let's see. Can I attack the snake from here, though, or are these things going to block me? All right, let's, um, let's see. I keep hitting escape. That's... I wish the escape would work. All right, let's, um, man, I don't know what to do. Because I feel like this guy is just going to escape super easily, right? Okay, so let's do attack on this. Um, let's see. Move you down here. Damage four, damage two. Okay, this is a good one right here. about halfway dead but still I attack no okay so it is, the game does have friendly fire um okay well then let's attack hmm all right so I can't attack this thing anymore then um so you can only shoot in a straight line too Let's kill this guy. All right, then in turn. So now is this going to drive more up? I can't move the camera when the enemies move. Yeah, I definitely needed to shoot these snakes. But that's t that's in that's tough. That's tough to do all that in three turns. So I basically needed to ignore killing everybody on this map, I think. Oh. Oh. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought <laughs> I thought that was the end of the map. Oh man, now this just got even more complicated. So I wonder if um does it matter if I ignore all the other if I just, like, if I kill this thing, do I win? You know? Let's just, because it's already halfway dead. So let's just kind of go all out and try to just kill this thing now and see what happens. And if we lose, I guess we lose. I thought that was going to be the end of the map, though. That's why I felt, like, pressure to, to move. We might lose some character. Okay, so... Why does it keep letting me do this, though? Uh, I think that's just a glitch, because like, I think you have to select two different targets. So, because I want to do this. Oh, the second one starts from the... Okay, so then let's do... Okay, so we're going to attack there and then there. This thing's almost dead. All right, let's move you. You can move over here. We might totally fail this mission, but that's... Man, see, I keep thinking we're going to be able to attack these guys. I don't like... I'll be honest. I don't like that it's really only... How it's, like, really directional attacks like this. I'm not a big fan of that for a lot of these characters. I guess I could move you though, right? And then attack you. Or no, I think that takes my. Does that take my turn? No, it doesn't. Do 
Why can't I attack them though? Did it take my it does. Oh, it does take my turn. Dang it. Okay, well then we'll move you. Um Guess we'll move you to cover then. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't really like that whole um I'm not a big fan of how they can only attack in like a straight line most of the characters. That seems weird. All right, let's in turn. Oh, luckily that guy's running away. So he's probably gonna die. Yeah, you're dead. We totally played this wrong. This is actually kind of difficult for like a starting, starting mission. For our first mission in the game, it feels like they really throw a lot at you. All right, so how much HP does it have left? 18. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it. Um, let's see, and everybody attacks in a straight freaking line, though. That means I can't do, like, the sync attacks unless... And, of course, this guy's in the spot I would need to be in. Let's get into cover. That's going to bring it down to 12. This unit's next attack using a weapon has plus one hits per attack. Let's, um... Okay, you're down to 12. Oh, I can move you. And then that'll do a sink. Um, so let's see. Oh, that's gonna bring it down to one. We might be able to do this. I don't... Oh, and then the sink for one. Okay. So, I don't think they're going to be able to kill us. I don't know. Let's see. I'm really hoping... I'm really hoping, because at this point, I kind of commit it to... Um, I kind of commit it to, let's try to destroy this caravan and see, um, see if we win. Okay, so he might... Oh, luckily the... Oh, I was going to say, luckily the movement isn't that good, but... Or the AI isn't that aggressive, but... They are a little bit. They're not going to be able to finish us, though. Okay, so I have to... I have to kill it right now. So, man, even if... Okay, so... Even if... You do have to... So, I think I still played this right. You still have to kind of go all out on this thing or else you're not going to kill it in time. But I wonder how you would do that without, man, without having someone take damage. Because basically this was my last turn to kill it. Okay, we won. Yay. That was my last attempt. You know, I couldn't. So all those other times we went ham on it, I had to have done that. But I think we could have played it better, I guess, with cover and things like that. Both of the, most of the civilians have been evacuated, so go wild. Oh, and they it looks like they're going to level up, too. I wonder what happens when they level up. They probably get more abilities. All right, let's do one more mission. Let's do survive four turns with at least one unit. So this one, we're we're kind of, I guess, being ambushed or something. So let's try this one. Take less than zero HP of damage. Um, survive four turns with at least one unit. Okay. So we just need to kind of hold on. So I'm going to kind of try yeah, to stay in cover, I guess. Oh my gosh. They really make this difficult on you, huh? Well, what are these guys doing? They don't give you any, any leeway here. All right. Let's start here. Um, here. And here, and we're going to try to take... I'm going to try to take the high ground, I guess, right? Or I could try to move back here. Um, Actually, here. Let's... um. How do, how do I, I want to undo 
I want to move someone else. I want to move you over here. Because I want to kind of try to move up here. I want to move up here. That's what I want to do. Okay, so let's start. Mission start. And I don't think they can attack me. Okay, so let's move you. But I thought they can only move one elevation at a time. I thought that's what the last thing said. See, so then let's move you. No, move you. Okay, you get. I guess you're gonna move up here. Then you're going to move. Uh, no, hold on. Let's undo that. Uh, um. Hold on. Can I undo more? Where can she move to? She can move right here, but then that blocks. She has a long movement range. All right, we'll just move her up here. We'll just move everybody up here. I'm trying to figure out how I can do the sync attack, but I don't know if I can with this one. So then we'll move you here. I like that I can move everybody first and set up the sync attacks. So then let's move you. Oh, so it is still going to do the sync attack. So I was afraid his sync attack would hurt, would uh, hurt himself, but I guess it doesn't. Oh, it, it still does. Why did he? He took two. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it. I mean, it didn't hurt himself, but I guess he had two shield there, the two dodge. OK, um. So let's see, you can move more. Did he get like a double movement turn? OK, well, you're going to move over here into the corner then. And then you're not going to be able to attack, unfortunately. I don't see some of this stuff I, I'm not a huge fan of. Why is why can't I shoot this guy right here? Right. There should be no reason I can't shoot this guy. That's that's a little off. It, it does feel weird. That does feel weird that I can't shoot this guy. I should that should be more damage. Elevation in this game should give you a benefit. That's weird. It is a little off putting. So I only have to survive. I don't have to kill everybody. So we're just going to I'm kind of going to just try to hold the high ground, I guess, and make the units come to me. Right. Oh, and they just and they just drop random units in. That's ugh. I don't I'm not a huge fan of that either. All right. So let's attack this guy and then we'll move. Oh, I can't move. Oh, shoot. Forgot about that. I don't know if I like that. I don't like I don't I don't know, guys. I don't know if I like some of the mechanics of this now. <laughs> um, Let's see. Let's put you right here and then you right here. So like you're not going to be able to do your attack. Well, I guess. OK, so you can do your attack. Um, but of course, I can't hit anybody. Grenade launcher will. I can't. Why can't I attack? OK, because it's out of range. Um, let's just attack you. Okay, and then you have an action, but you can't do anything. Oh, uh, we can move units. Oh, I should have did that first. That's what I, oh, that's what I should do. I need to move units up here. And then I can shoot them. OK, and then you're going to hang out there still. Or no, let's move you because you gain energy a little bit, right? I guess you have to move more. Undo. Let's move you. How far do I have to move you to gain stuff? All right, let's just intern. I need to get him out of here.
Yeah, I don't like them just dropping random units either. That's not... I don't know, I'm not like a huge fan of that either. Okay, so let's attack this guy. We'll do a sync attack. Yeah, see, he is... Man, and he's gonna take two damage every time for a sync attack? Oh, that's... I don't like that either. All right, let's, um... Let's not attack yet. Let's move you. So what, like, what range does this thing have? So it's another straightforward thing. Um, so I can do this and do a sync. And you'll attack. And then I can do her attack and then kill him. Okay, and then let's move this guy to safety somewhat. Nothing can attack, okay. Uh, let's see, applies, this unit's next attack using a weapon has plus one hits per attack. Let's put that on her. And then I guess we'll end turn. So that's two turns, right? Yeah, two turns left. Oh my gosh, he's dead. See, we made the mistake. I made that mistake of keeping him, um, of keeping him down there. All right, but well, we have to survive. Oh, that's, see, that's bullshit. Oh man, I'm not, I'm not like digging this game. I don't know about that. They literally just dropped the unit right up here on me. That's bullshit, right? That's total BS, that's so lame. That's unfair, you can't plan for that. I'm not, I, okay, I don't like that at all. Okay, let's kill these two guys, I guess, right? I don't get this either. How does this work? Like, throws two grenades. Okay, so I do it there, and then where? Why can't like I do my other one? So let's do the other one down here, I guess. Okay, so it has to like bounce further. Ah, uh, I don't like this. I don't like that. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of that at all. All right, we'll move you over here. All right, we'll move you right here. And then if I attack, okay, that's gonna kill him. I should have killed this guy too. Okay, well, I think maybe I just have to survive this and then I think that's it. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh no, so I have to survive one more. Victory! Oh no, we did it, okay. I mean, I guess like the objectives are at least easy enough to survive, but yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of a lot of the mechanics in this game. Um, so these guys leveled up. I don't know what happens. Um, most of the civilians have been evacuated. All right, confirm. Okay, so. Arsenal rewards offer a choice between three mods. Base weapons can equip two mods at once. Special weapons can equip three mods. Um, okay. So what am I doing? Choose a mod. Do I only get to pick one? Shelling doubles the damage dealt to vehicles in destructible environments. Oh yeah, so you only get to pick one, so you get a random, it looks like it's random character, random weapon. Uh, each time this attack triggers synchronization plus one damage dealt by the synchronizing characters during the attack. Each time the unit contributes to a frag on any unit, they gain one adrenaline. I like this one. You're great. 
Okay, so Marco promoted to rank one. Uh, your characters level up when finishing missions with a full XP gauge. They get a choice between three skills chosen randomly between special actions and passives. So I get to choose one. Um, field dressing. Each time the unit targets an ally with a special action, that ally recovers. That's pretty good. Um, this is going to deal three HP of damage. Each time the unit participates... I'm going to do the heal because healing seems pretty important in this game. All right. So she's going to get... Deals four... HP of damage to adjacent units moves Eerie to the target tile. So she's kind of like your movability character. She can move characters and then she can move. Um, each time this unit is moved by a special action, they gain anticipation. That's not as good yet because we would have to take uh, something to move. Charges the tile within range, deals five HP of damage, no cover. Let's take Slicing Rush. And then lastly, we get team player. Each time the unit participates in a synchronization, they gain adrenaline. Uh, a prize applies fragile. Uh, the next time the unit is attacked, plus two damage dealt. And then deal five HP of damage. Just cool. Okay, so we'll take that. Okay. Well, there we go. Oh, so enemy response and two missions. So I guess we probably have to do two missions and then there's a boss fight. I'm assuming that's how that works. I like, okay, so this is gonna be it. I like some things about this game and I really, really don't like some things. Um, I like the world, sort of like the roguelike pack, the roguelike uh, meta progressions, upgrading your characters. Um, I like doing the missions. I think doing different missions with different rewards and objectives is a really cool idea. I like moving through the map. I, I love that, I love that idea, but then the gameplay, I think, is a little... I don't know. It does some things I don't like, as we saw in the game. I don't like that having having the height advantage isn't an advantage. Um, I think it's kind of weird that you can't shoot at enemies below you <laughs> when, they're, when you clearly should be able to shoot them. That kind of makes for some weird gameplay, I think. And then obviously I'm not a fan of them just dropping dropping units on me. Um, it's a tactics game. So you want to be tactical, right? And so my main plan was, okay, I'm going to take the high ground. The units aren't going to be able to get to me as much. But then the game just drops a unit right up there. That's not tactical. You can't predict that. I know it says enemy reinforcements coming, but them just dropping them randomly somewhere on the map, that's lame. Because that totally ruins everything that you have worked for on that map. I don't like that kind of stuff at all. So I don't know, I'm kind of torn on this game now. It does things I like, but those things I don't like, I don't like them at all. And the fact that a lot of these characters can only shoot in a straight line, that kind of, that kind of, makes it weird too it like it sort of i don't know it it really limits what you can do in this game you can't have height advantage and you have to be lined up straight with the enemy to shoot them so it just yeah it really limits the sort of strategies and gameplay you can have with this game but i mean it seems okay i uh, yeah i don't know i don't want to harp on it too much so i guess that'll be it <laughs> metal slug tactics check it out. You can download the demo now on Steam. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Steam Next Fest coverage. We will be covering games all week long. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day.